I was in the market for a bench power supply. So I laid down my cash. 35 Canadian toonies. This nice power, 30 volt, 10 amp switching power supply. Never heard of the brand? Neither had I. And there was very little in the way of reviews to help me out. But the seller was very good in describing the product and had lots of good pictures on the site. And there were features about this unit that drew me to it. The seller provided this picture on the site. I point your attention to that very large potentiometer where the voltage adjustment is. Looks like uh, some of the money went in there and uh, it feels like it. It's very smooth, very uh, stable, uh, very nice. I've rigged a 1 ohm resistor across the output of the power supply and I want to start off by talking about this display. Nice bright red LEDs, very large. Not as common as this model, but if you do a bit of a search on the internet you will find what seems to be this exact model in every respect except for the availability of an LCD display. It's split up into three components, smaller numbers than this becomes a matter of choice. I prefer these bold red LED numbers. And I like the way that it tells me if we are controlling through voltage, as it's shown here, or if we're controlling by current, as shown here. Those red dots are also very nice and visible. I like that. Can this thing pump out 10 amps? Yes, it can. And at 12 volts, that's about 120 watts. This 100 watt resistor is going to allow me to fry an egg here pretty soon. So I won't leave it there for any length of time. Step it down here. Can it supply 10 amps at 30 volts, the full 300 watts of this unit? I don't know and I don't care. It's able to go 120 watts, no problem. And that's all I care about for automotive type use. 12 volts times 10 amps. I'm good. It's a switching power supply, so it's going to have some noise. Let's put our Black Pill HS101 Pro to work, and we're going to measure that. 5 volts across a 1 ohm resistor. It's quite a big load on there. Peak to peak, 20 millivolts. Not that bad. Let's step this down a little bit to loads that are more representative of small electronic projects. I have two uh, small resistors in series that total 100 ohms uh, across the output of the power supply. And again, using our Black Pill HS101 Pro, we can see that uh, we're getting 20 millivolts of noise peak to peak at 5 volts output. And there's one last thing I'd like to show you guys while we're set up here. One of the features of the HS101 Pro is that we have this input range that goes all the way in 5 steps all the way down to plus or minus 469 millivolts. These ranges allow us to always be in the sweet spot for um, the ADC, the analog digital converter. We're overscaled. I'm going to bring this all the way down. And we're going to see how low can we go. Look at how much control I have on this thing. You know, all the way down to around 20 millivolt output. And there's only 2 millivolts peak to peak of noise. Pretty cool. So as hobbyists, like we're not going to spend hundreds of dollars on a linear power supply, right? We're going to go for, uh, you know, there's a number of these models available in the $70 Canadian range with the switching power, and that will be our choice. Uh, for automotive use, they're going to be fine because um, 
if the modules in there can withstand the alternator ripple, maybe in the 100 millivolt range, they can easily withstand the noise that we've seen uh, on this uh, particular power supply. And uh, I also think that uh, they're not going to be a problem with most uh, DIY uh, Arduino and Raspberry Pi projects. Uh, they can withstand uh, the kind of uh, noise that we've seen here. But uh, what if we wanted some cleaner power? Like I've been known to dabble in some oscilloscope circuits where noise uh, is an issue. That brings us to the next gadget on the playlist. It's going to be an add-on module that's going to allow us to have the powerful uh, 30 volt 10 amp switching power when we need it, but also allow us to have up to 12 volts and up to 2.2 amps of clean linear power for projects that require it. Components are on their way, build video will follow, we'll catch you guys then.